Hey, what's up, guys? It's Banu here from AndroidAll.com. So, as you guys can clearly see, it's pretty late right now, and the video is not even properly lit because I'm outside, and it it's past 12 in the night. So, you guys might be wondering what the hell I'm trying to do outside today. So, I actually came out to show you guys something pretty cool. So, today is actually a full moon poe day here in Sri Lanka, and that means the moon is fully out. So I'm actually carrying the Huawei P30 Pro right now and this phone has a whopping 50 times zoom on this. And Huawei even showed off a bunch of pictures that they shot with the P30 Pro. So I thought uh, it would make an interesting video if I try to show you guys how you can shoot the moon with your Huawei P30 Pro. So let's go ahead and try it out with the P30 Pro and see what happens. If you guys are excited for this video, definitely go ahead and smash that like button, hit on the subscribe button. And if you found this video to be interesting, definitely go ahead and share this video with your friends. And let's get started with today's video. Bear with me on the quality of this video. It's pretty dark but it's totally worth it. So let's get started directly by shooting the moon. I'll be shooting the moon using the P30 Pro using the photo mode, the night mode and the pro mode. As you guys might already know, the P30 Pro actually has five levels of zooming. The first one is the ultra wide angle sensor that is 0.6 times. Then we have the wide angle sensor that is one times. Then we have optical zoom up to five times. After that we have hybrid zoom up to 10 times and finally we have whopping 50 times zoom digitally on the P30 Pro. All of the footage that you see during this video will be shot handheld just by using the Huawei P30 Pro. I thought it will be much clearer for you guys if I just go ahead and record my screen. So here's a recording of how it's going to work. So this is what the ultra wide angle mode looks like on the P30 Pro when shooting the moon and this is what the one time zoom mode will look like. Next we have 5 times followed by 10 times. As you can see the AI mode is able to recognize that I'm trying to shoot the moon right now and it's working its magic. And finally by zooming all the way in we are going into whopping 50 times zoom. To get the best looking picture what you can do is tap on the moon once and you can reduce the exposure a little bit and that will give you the best picture. When you're zoomed in at 50 times the picture is a bit wonky even if you don't move your hand the picture starts moving so you just have to keep your phone really steady and wait for the turn. When the moon lands in the middle of the phone, just go ahead and tap on that shutter button and it will say sharpening, please steady your device. Just hold your phone until that warning has gone and once that is done, the picture is ready. If you actually take your time on this, you can get some pretty impressive shots on this. Not only in the 50 times zoom mode, but even in the 10 times zoom mode, you can get some pretty impressive pictures on the P30 Pro. So enough talking now, let's go ahead and see the final results. These are images that are coming right from the camera of the Huawei P30 Pro, completely unedited. So here's what we have. Just to emphasize on how much of a big deal this is for the P30 Pro to do, here's my Canon 80D zoom to the maximum level using the 18 to 135 lens that I have here. This is the maximum result I can get with my 80D and here's a picture of the moon shot with the Canon 80D in manual mode.
In comparison, he has a 10 times zoom mode picture shot with the P30 Pro. And to take it up a level, he has a 50 times zoom picture shot with the P30 Pro. In comparison, here's a picture shot with the iPhone XS Max from the same place. And here's another picture shot with the iPhone XS Max with the maximum level of zooming that is 10 times zooming with the iPhone XS Max. And in comparison, this is what the P30 Pro can do. But that's not it. All these pictures that I showed you so far are unedited. But I wanted to see what will happen if I just run this picture through Photoshop and tune in the image a little bit by reducing the brightness, adjusting the contrast and lowering the highlights and improving the shadows. So this is what an edited picture of the moon looks like that is shot with the P30 Pro. Going back, this is what the unedited picture looks like and this is what the edited picture looks like. Pretty impressive, huh? It's nice to know that you can get even better results just by running your picture through Photoshop. It literally took me less than one minute for this edit. But I'm pretty sure if I spend a considerable amount of time, I can get a much better result. Like I told you at the beginning of the video, the P30 Pro also has a night mode that you can use to shoot these pictures. So here's how the night mode works with all levels of zoom on the P30 Pro. The only difference with the night mode is we have to hold the device steady for a bit longer and there is a countdown actually. But to be honest in this scenario, I found the photos that I shot in the normal photo mode to be better than the pictures that I got from the night mode. Here are two pictures for you to compare. Finally, if you are a pro, you can fully take control of your P30 Pro camera by making use of the pro mode on this that is built right into the camera. If you make use of the pro mode, you can adjust the ISO, the shutter speed, the white balance and you can even focus the way you want. You can take full control of your camera and capture the picture. You still get access to the amazing 50 times zoom. So you can make use of that to take your time and capture the perfect picture. I tried that too and here's what I got with that. I'm pretty sure that I shot at least 100 pictures of the moon trying to make this video for you guys. I wanted to try out everything so that I can give you guys a fair judgment. So that's why I'm putting all these pictures together for you guys so that you guys can actually decide whether this phone actually lives up to the hype or not. So far this is pretty mind blowing because this is just a smartphone with an amazing camera. To be fair though, my DSLR setup costs around 200 to 250,000 Sri Lankan rupees, whereas the entire P30 Pro is less than 200k. So that's amazing. It's true that you can add in a really expensive lens to this DSLR to get much better pictures, but then again, that won't be fair to compare to a phone that costs less than 200k, right? I hope you guys already checked out my other Huawei P30 Pro videos here in the channel. In case you guys haven't checked out those yet, definitely go ahead and check out my unboxing as well as the other videos on the Huawei P30 Pro. And if you guys want any other video featuring the Huawei P30 Pro, drop a comment down below or you can message me on social media. I am at Andrew Dollar and uh, definitely drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to share this video with your friends if you found this to be amazing. Oh by the way, when I shot this video, it was past 12 in the night like I showed initially in this video and the roads were completely empty. And to be honest, it was a bit scary to do this on the road, but somehow I did it for you guys. So if you guys appreciate the effort, definitely go ahead and smash that like button because that keeps me motivated to make more awesome content for you guys. This was a great experience and I had a bunch of fun making this video. Hey guys, that's how to shoot the moon with the Huawei P30 Pro. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely go ahead and smash that like button and hit on the subscribe button right now and check out my other tech videos that I have done right here on YouTube. And definitely follow me on social media. I am at Android Dollar. All the links are given down below in the description. And stay tuned to AndroidDollar.com for the latest from the tech world. Until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu signing out.